Welcome back. Today I'll be making for you guys a gluten-free vegan quiche. Let's get started. For this amazing recipe, you're going to need some chickpea flour, some spinach, mixed vegetable, or stabilizer is applesauce, some nutritional yeast, garlic, onion powder. Over here we have our coconut milk, olive oil, black sea salt, um, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and over here we have our vegetables. So we're gonna get some onion for this, like half of this onion maybe is good, because we're gonna dice it up. And guys, remember always wash your vegetables before you use them. You can rough chop your spinach just to get them a little finer for your quiche. Let's saute the garlic. So guys, you saute your garlic first to flavor the oil, right? It smells so nice. So you're gonna add some onions. You can allow the, the onions to not caramelize too much, but just soften up a little. Because for a quiche, you want our quiche to look vibrant, right guys? Okay guys, so at this time you're going to add some spinach. All of your spinach. You know the mixed vegetables. You see how beautiful it looks already, right? Don't worry about salt and pepper. We're going to season the chickpea flour. Getting our chickpea butter ready. So for this, you're going to add some the dry ingredients first, guys. So we're going to add a little bit of nutritional yeast, the onion powder, and some black salt this is this kind of have a little eggy flavor right guys and a little bit of cayenne pepper be gentle with this because you don't want to it's overpowering so you don't want it to be too spicy for persons who doesn't like spice right Alright, so watch me now. We're going to add our liquid ingredients gradually. So we're going to start with our coconut milk. And the applesauce. So again, coconut milk. the remaining applesauce. The texture that we're going for is smooth, so not too thick and not too runny. So we're going to add a little bit more salt and cayenne pepper. Okay guys, we're going to add some black pepper. And 
and add the saute vegetables adding the mixture to the pie pan placing some um, tomato to put on the top and a uh, sweet pepper now these are washed. I think you can put some yellow pepper on it to bring out the, the look. And guys, you can be very creative with preparing your quiche. And quiche is a nice recipe for like you're having brunch or so you can prepare an easy quiche recipe. There you have it. So we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes, bake it, and then we get back. We're gonna add so after removing the quiche from the oven, this is how it looks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment and to subscribe to this channel for more amazing plant-based recipes. Until next time, bye!